think that what's going to be interesting is that uh, uh, every opportunity that we have had to get people in front of the work, whether they were prepared to see it and just saw it um, or not, um, I think people realized that the work mm. was innovative, fresh, and different, uh, certainly for that time period, and, but still remains so. And I think that this is the thing that uh, I am hopeful that will get done through uh, all of these efforts of the, uh, the video and the exhibition and the book, is um, to turn away that Canadian natural response of, no, we've already made up our mind, we've already got a decision, so we don't need to look any further. Uh, because when people encounter uh, Oscar's works, um, they see an artist who was one of Canada's greatest painters. Um, Harold Town helped me get the quote exactly right, but I think that in one of his great tributes, uh, um, you know, some of the writers uh, have basically said, so I'm now characterizing essentially three people all into one, that if he had lived, Oscar Gahane would be considered one of Canada's greatest artists. Well, the point of the matter is, he, ha he had lived. He had lived a very full life and uh, <clears throat> made, um, I think, incredible um, contributions. And yes, he could, want more. And yes, we, it wouldn't have been great if Tom Thompson hadn't died, you know, in that canoeing accident, and we could have seen more, right? Um, all these things, all these what-ifs are all fine, but what, it, what I am resisting with that, that kind of uh, narrative is simply that it gives an excuse not to stop and look at the power of these works and appreciate the ones that do exist. Uh, they're uh, phenomenal works, they've changed Canadian art history, and what we're, I think we're going to discover through time, as you know, I've been you know, beating this drum for a bit, that uh, uh, his artist compatriots were incredibly gracious and generous in terms of crediting uh, Oscar as one of the great leading lights, one of the people who pushed Canadian art forward in every way and was clearly the leader, was clearly the leader. And uh, that has slipped away as the, the evident narrative. And uh, if you go back to the graciousness of the people that uh, <clears throat> he associated with, uh, they were very aware of the debt that they owed to him. And now it's unfortunately a little bit like the old game of is it, was it conquerors, you know, the chess, chestnuts, right? Uh, that, that the power of Oscar Cahane got transferred over to, on the one hand, William Ronald, and to another, to uh, Jack Bush, and uh, uh, Harold Town, and, and Oscar, in, in many respects, um, were relegated to minor roles. and damned by faint praise. And so it's a faint praise to say, just, it's just too bad it wasn't a longer career. I close the circle with uh, our experience, thanks to you, in the last six years of doing two shows in New York. Mm -hmm. And the first one, uh, yep. which you led, mm -hmm. uh, you'll yep. remember we had uh, Roberto, Roberta, yeah. and uh, yeah. Jerry, yeah. and Roberta Smith. And, and we had, yeah. we had, uh, the comments book was fantastic. Yep. We had young artists from the village. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, celebrity collectors. Right. And they loved the work. It was a yep. wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. Which we, that's closing the circle. That's what we're going to do now, opening yeah. in September. Uh, absolutely. And uh, uh, I should shut up because that's a very good uh, way to <laughs> uh, add that thing. But, you know, it's because we have puzzled and puzzled and puzzled. I mean, sometimes it's just the flukes of history, you know. Um, uh, Painters 11 did an exhibition at the Riverside Museum in 1956 in, in New York, and uh, great works were sent. 
uh, great works were sent by Oscar, uh, but not the most powerful, right? It, it wasn't something like Warrior or, paint, or Painting on Olive Ground. They, they were good, but they weren't as powerful as, as other things. And uh, while that exhibition is on, um, he's killed. Yeah, it's, it's done, it's over. The career, you know, it's over. Uh, and it's at that point, just after that, that Painters 11 group tried to bring Clement Greenberg. And to think what might have happened if uh, Greenberg had seen the Kahane paintings that were being made at that time, you know, uh, it seems to me that in every way, uh, uh, Kahane would have been a central figure in his most important show, the, um, uh, the American Abstract uh, Painters uh, Exhibition, Color Field Painting Show, uh, that he did in 64. Uh, but that's where we can enjoy the work now. And, uh, you know, the freshness of being able to see things that other than the people who nobly came and um, did the uh, inventorying of the studio, you know, um, Yarwood and, and uh, Town and Bush, uh, very, very few people have seen these things. They've affected Canadian art history because they've affected particularly through Jack Bush. But I think the joy will be now just to see these things as they're in, mm -hmm. in their own light. So, uh, I, you know, thank you. I would thank you so much. Good job.